What's up, everybody? Okay, so we are gonna go over something. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go over a uh, skin detailer for Genesis 9. Merchant Resource by Colm Jackson. Okay. Um, now, when I originally got this, I thought it was gonna be like a plugin. You know, I never read anything. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not a plugin. It's not really a plugin. Don't know what it is really. So when you get it, you're gonna you're just gonna download uh, manually, and you'll get PSD files. PSD. You do get like uh, this. I don't know what this does though. I don't know. It says materials, but I don't know what it does. Okay, it sets kind of probably like a. Ah, okay, okay. It does. It does. It does. Okay, so these are kind of like presets that you can just jump in. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Let's try some mouse. Let's try some mouse, boys. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's very nice. Okay, so I suppose they give you like a, a couple of uh, uh, testers or something. You know what I mean? They give you a couple of testers, I suppose. Like presets and stuff. It even says the word preset. Ari. It says the word preset. Ari. Okay, so you can, they've given you a couple of presets, there's, there's another one, I, okay, okay, look, I'm going to go back one, and I'm going to go back another one, so we get, uh, Eleanor, alright, so I went back, uh, so I can get Eleanor, Eleanor's, uh, basic skin, like a, a, a main skin that comes with it, so you do get a couple of presets here and stuff, uh, but the real power, the real power, let me tell you folks, the real power of this, let, let me tell you, is uh, when you go to Photoshop, oh, okay, before we go to Photoshop, let's go to Surfaces, get your Eleanor selected, and go to the, uh, <clears throat> the Eleanor HD. What I want is Surfaces, and I want the head, okay? I want the head first. There's Base Color. If you click on that, uh, you can go to Browse, and it'll open it up, and you can go ahead and go get her head. Right, there's the head, right? Eleanor Clean Ed. Ed, move, get that URL. Just gonna copy it. I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna open up Explorer and just paste that in there, and then I can get the maps right. So here's her map, right? Right there. Uh, all right. Uh, and I'm just gonna open up Photoshop, and I'm gonna drag that map directly into Photoshop. Okay. So there's her map. I'm I'm starting with her map, right? Now, when you download the plugin, the plugin. Uh, you know manually download it and you'll get like these zip files once you unzip it you'll get this with the folder called content open up the content and open up Colm Jackson and inside of here you'll get the Mr. PSDs okay and this is what you're looking for so now you get the legs the body the arms the head the head are oh, these are the pump maps uh, and this is the one that I've done already so I'm gonna grab the head and I'm gonna drag it into Photoshop okay now once you get that, here's the skin detailer. You get a good couple of folders here, and at the bottom here you get base, right? So I'm gonna take this map over here, and I'm gonna drag it into uh, base. Let me just put it in so it's perfectly there. I'm gonna drag it, put it into base, and there. I've got my base here, and we good. You know, if you want to, you can delete this one, no reason to, but if you want to. Now, here's where the power of this lies. Now look, when I bought it, I thought it was just gonna be something like a cool little editing Daz. It's not, um, and that's okay. You know, I've kind of come to terms, you know, I like my one-click solutions. It's it's nice, that's what I expect from Daz, one-click. This is not, this is a full-blown editor that you take uh, what this person has done, is in each of these folders he's done a, a million types of overlays and you can add it uh which is pretty cool it's awesome because this is ultimate power skin overlays right so i can go to skin overlays and i can start putting this on uh okay so a red cheeks and eyelids now if i put it on you're not going to see anything because he set all the opacities to zero why why I want everything on and then I can and then I can adjust it. But look, once you got it on, you just gotta mess with the opacity and you can start seeing like a change, right? If I put on white cheeks overlay, I can start putting that up. You know, you can start getting some cray cray results, and this is what it is. Skin overlays full body, interesting. H spots. What is this? Uh? 
oh this is for the whole body and stuff okay man so i mean you can start putting in like blemishes in the skin this is pretty cool spider veins spider man spider veins and you can start putting in some of them veins and stuff bows these are the blurred ones okay some of them are on some of them are on okay that's pretty cool and that's it you literally go into opacity and you bring them up and down you can change the overlays however you want them that's all fine you know let's put on some acne over here let's see what this does okay slight slight acne okay let's just really blemish it really blemish this this woman this woman up so there we go, some more blemishes. Just control the opacity. Now look, man, you can get really intricate with this. You can, uh, it comes with a video. He shows you so many things that you can do with it, which is cool. It's really cool. You know, you can clone things. You can you can do different things with stuff. It's, I mean, they maps. You can do anything you want. If you know Photoshop and you've got a, a, a good know-how how to do this, you can do anything you want. Now over here, I'm on the eye veins. Subtly, you know, we're going to make this woman old. Put some freckles on there freckled on that ass uh, cheeks heavy I'll click on this and I'll there we go some freckles now remember you can go in here you can change the color image you can change the hue saturation of this thing make them a different color and stuff you you can do whatever the hell you want okay you can you can go wild it's Photoshop layers you can do whatever you want uh, I don't know if this opens up in gink it's a PSD, uh, gimp I'm sure it does. I'm sure there's a way to open it up. I, I don't know. I use Photoshop, so uh, I'd say there's a good chance that you can get this working GIMP. Um, and there we go. So I'm just adding a couple of things, going through the layers, upper lip heavy. What is this? Ah, okay, we're still on them. Uh, okay, okay, we're done. We're done. Ooh, on the eyelids. Ugh. Okay, let's have a look. Yes. Okay, so we've got a couple of uh, freckles. And then you can go into moles. And you can activate the moles and uh, same thing, yeah. Opacity 100. Okay, so these are on 100 already. Cool. I'll take that second mole and I'll just put it a little bit down, something like that. Yeah, that's nice. And you can go off, man. You can go off. You can go off. It's pretty damn cool, actually. So there we go. So we've created like something like that. You can also go back to the main base and you can change this how you want it. You can go here and you can just like, maybe just, you know, however you want to do this. Maybe you want something a little bit different. It's, it's whatever you want. It's full editor here. You can do whatever the hell you want. So after you've done that, uh, there you go. You've got the face. Now if you go back in here, you get detailed MR head bump maps. If I come in and drag that in, this is a skin, uh, this just gives you basic uh, maps for uh, bumps. You can see here for whatever. And once again, you, can, you can't really edit all these, but they, they're there, which is pretty cool. And you can save these out as bump maps, okay? And, and add them into your uh, what's see, what's see, what's see. So there we go, I've done this. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna save out the map. I'm just gonna say file uh, gener uh, export as a PNG. And I'm going, I'm going to put this in, uh, all right, uh, what's her name, Eleanor, Eleanor, uh, L, Eleanor, okay, it's wrong, but it doesn't matter. So, I saved out that map, and now we're going to jump back into Dayers, oh, jump back into Dayers, and let's have a look here, okay, I'm going to put on render, and let's have a look. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to take a, a, a thingy mo bobby, a new an image of this just to grab, just so that we can compare it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this new skin that I did, and I'm going to go to head and right chain base color. I'm just going to drag and drop that straight into here. There we go. Last thing I want to do is translucency color. Now the translucency color is usually just a little bit brighter. Okay, you can see there, there, and there. Okay, so I'm going to go back into Photoshop, and I'm going to uh, just take that uh, that map that I've got. You can open it up straight in here, uh, and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into brightness, and I'm just going to up this a little bit, something like that. 
so, something like that okay nothing nothing too crazy slightly i'm going to save that as a translucence map uh yes 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 eleanor trans terran trans okay um and that should uh, help me decipher it okay so once we've got that i'm going to hit okay and let that save out and then i'll get my new map and over here in the translucency color I'm just going to put uh, in there as soon as it's all right here. And once you got that uh, translucency map, you can just drag it, let it go, and it'll replace that. Okay, so you're good. So there we go. We've got uh, all of those kind of things. We've got the two new maps in. Let's see if it's done anything. I don't know. Okay. Huh. Let's see here. Okay, so you can see the. The slight things that are coming out now in the face uh there we go i mean i, I like to keep things kind of subtle you can see her, her, her cheeks are a little bit rosier um you can see like the the more kind of old skin over there on the cheeks uh let's just move this away yeah i mean okay some things aren't great but you can always change that you can go back and forth into the photoshop map which is totally fine but there's the old and there's the new okay so you you create skins essentially and you can use it to create your own skins if you're not using a base of one of the characters that are already made you use your own base of course but that's it once you've got a base you can go in and you can detail it and that's that's what this is um it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i kind of like my one click solutions like if it was in daz straight away you can open it up and you can change everything inside of daz like they, they had that one skin detailer for eights and whatever. That was cool. Uh, it, it never gave you real-time feedback. That, that was the terrible thing about it. But, you know, this, I suppose you can see it in Photoshop. You can, you've got absolute control over it. But it is an extra step of work, which, ah, uh, would I ever use it, man? Would I ever use this? <sighs> Maybe if I wasn't so lazy. If I wasn't so lazy, I would use it. Um, I probably will land up using it like th little glitches like this and stuff would irritate the hell out of me but uh, you know i just got to go into photoshop and quickly clean clean that up you know you can clean that up very easily by just uh, uh you know in the in the main thing here you can just go in and you can just uh, oh you gotta you gotta find the one uh, you gotta find the one that it is first Da, 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 something like that or was it this one i don't know it's, it's probably this one and you can always delete stuff and whatever you know you can you can just delete stuff and re 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 save your map out and put it back in but uh, otherwise it is a very cool resource there's a lot of work here it's it's well done uh, and you can create literally any skin you want so i mean it's pretty damn cool it depends on how lazy you are i'm lazy i want to go into des i want to click detail skin i want to add everything here click on freckles do it here click on moles do it here and then click uh, see a real-time update and then click uh, you know merge all the maps and you you merge it or it puts it on the lay or something and that's what i want but it is a very cool thing and you can get very realistic things here so that's pretty cool uh it's a very cool it's very cool maps and stuff very nicely done nicely laid out obviously don't write over your original always take um always take like uh always take you know like your your head or whatever and just duplicate it or save your photoshop file once you're done here you can say file save as and then just save it as a completely different file don't overwrite your original one or as you go to download it again but uh, you know at least you got your original file don't 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 overwrite it anyway uh all in all it's pretty cool there's the old there's the new i mean it is pretty cool you can get some nice color in there you can you know very quickly they've set up some nice templates uh usually i just paint this in in uh post but you know if you can do it in daz and you've got your whole character there very cool i like the fact that it's more aged here it's very cool man they've they've done a good job they've done a cool job it like i say it all comes down how lazy are you okay i'm lazy um, anyway, I hope this helps and thanks for watching. Bye guys.